Hello, welcome back to the fall edition of my Monday Mortgage Episodes. Pumpkin spice latte season is in full effect. The weather is getting cooler, slowly, and the holidays are upon us. By now, those costumes are put back in the closet, and even though Thanksgiving is up first, if you're anything like me, you will skip over those pumpkin decorations and go straight for the mistletoe and fake snow decor. I can see it now, reindeers for days. And speaking of PSL season, did you know that if you were within half a mile of your local Starbucks, it could result in a half a percent increase in your house value? Say what? Yeah! That data was revealed in a study on neighborhood gentrification by the Harvard Business School that relied on information from not only Yelp, but from the most recent US census data. Yeah, and it's coming from Harvard, so it has to be true, right? I mean, those guys are supposed to be smart, right? According to the Harvard report, a new Starbucks can result in a half a percent increase for houses found within the same zip code. Now, it's not clear where the housing prices are rising due to the Starbucks opening or simply because more higher to moderate income consumers go there have actually moved into the area. Now, the Harvard economics professor, Mr. Mr. Glazer, noted that for every 10 unit increase in the number of Yelp reviews is associated with a 1.4% increase in the number of housing prices in that particular zip code. Mind blown. Yeah. Now, the broader point of that Harvard paper, which deduces that gentrification is strongly associated with increases in the number of grocery stores, restaurants, bars, and of course, Starbucks is just a part of that. Now, don't forget about other local coffee shops because they contribute to the gentrification of the neighborhood as well. And as that neighborhood changes, most local patrons decide to shop there local anyway, which is a win-win for everybody. So, Ralph, what is this word you keep on using? What is gentrification? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It is defined as a process of rebuilding homes and businesses accompanied by an influx of middle class or affluent people, albeit at the expense of earlier, often less affluent residents. Now, Mr. Luca, which is another associate professor at Harvard Business School, said that the use of Yelp complements the existing data by providing real-time updates on local stores by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, as well as provides an insight into how neighborhoods change during the gentrification, which is pretty cool, right? And you learn something new every day. And additionally, the presence of a Starbucks is far less important than whether the community has people who can consume that Starbucks. Consequently, he adds, we think that this variable is likely to be a proxy for gentrification itself. Pretty cool, right? Bottom line, Starbucks may not be causing gentrification, but its arrival into a zip code may confirm the gentrification trend is underway, which may predict housing prices themselves. Man, I'm telling you, so much information in so little time. Do you need help navigating the mortgage madness? If so, I'm just a phone call away. And guess what? We can grab a cup of coffee and talk about your mortgage options. I hope you enjoyed this month's Mortgage Monday episode. Stay tuned for more episodes coming soon. And remember, I loan it so you can own it. Until next time. Oh, and don't forget to write that positive Yelp review. It might just add some value to your house. Just a thought. I'll see you next month.